Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Apocalypse. It is the morning of day 44. Let's get a move on. This forge is smelting down a bunch of stone that we mined last night. Let's get as much more cement moving as we can. There we go. We'll let that work. The mixer is making a whole bunch of concrete, so we'll let that work. This forge is smelting down a bunch of iron that we mined last night. Let's get some more steel moving as much as we can. Got to keep the steel flowing. We got a lot of shit we need to upgrade with that. The workbench made 20 Molotovs, 100 barbed wire fences, and is currently working on a level 3 M60. That should come in handy come Horde Night. Let's throw this stuff in here. Now, last night I had three skill points. I spent two of them. I put one into Machine Gunner, which that is what is allowing us to craft a level 3 M60. It's also going to increase uh, the fire rate and how quickly we reload all machine guns. Uh, I also put a point into well insulated so we don't have to worry about the weather as much. And I have one point left, but we're going to hold on to that one for now. The first thing we are doing this morning is heading to the nitrate mine down the road. We'll take the motorcycle. It's just right down here. We already started digging it out, but there's a ton left down there. And we need nitrate powder. We also need oil shale, so I think we're going to fly out to the desert here at some point. Probably right after this, but for now... Let's just get as much nitrate powder as we can so we can make a stack of gunpowder. I hate that it's right next to this building. Oh shit. Uh, I was just gonna say, we'll make a little bit of noise. If there's any zombies, they'll come out. And we got irradiated. It's a good thing we didn't just jump right down into that hole. We got another zombie that jumped down over there. And here comes another radiated. What the fuck? Oh shit. That guy's fast. Well, wasn't expecting to have a fight like this so quick. Alright. Shit. Dude, jump over the rock. Let's get over by Junkie, let him do a little bit of work. Damn, what the fuck did that tree do to you, biker? A biker just decided to take a fucking tree down. Come on, dude. Alright, he's dead. And she's dead. Fuck, is that it? No, it's not it. There's someone in that window. Alright, let me reload Junkie, and I'm going to put Junkie down right here. Watch our back while we're in the hole, and we'll take this guy out with the bow. Well, I think we're clear. I hope so, anyway. I certainly don't want to die down in a hole. That would be one of the worst ways to end the series. Right next to jumping out of your own gyrocopter. Alright, we survived our time in the hole. We got more than enough nitrate powder to make a full stack of gunpowder, so that's good. Let's get home and get that moving. Then we'll heal up and head into the desert. We need to grab a bunch of oil shell for gasoline, and maybe we'll do some looting while we're out there. Here, let's move this iron up to that spot and grab some clay out of here. And get clay in this forge. Get that smelting down, and we'll make as much more steel as we can right now. We're going to need, what, 10 pieces of steel per block to upgrade it, right? I think that's it. Is it 5 or 10? I think it's 10. And that's going to be a shitload of steel we're going to need. So we got to keep that shit flowing this entire week. Otherwise, I don't think it's going to happen. Let's get a land claim block put down right here. And this isn't to prevent zombie spawns. It's so I can pick all of my shit up when the time comes. As it gets closer to the horde night, probably the night of, I'm going to pick all that stuff up. The workbench, the forges, the mixer, the chem station. And then I'm going to start filling this place in with blocks. This way the walls are at least two blocks, hopefully three blocks deep. I think I'm going to leave... An opening in the middle, though. Like a little tight corridor behind the front door. So if the zombies do make it to the front door and break in, they're just funneled into this little tight corridor, and then I'll open up the rooftop so I can throw down, like, grenades and shit at them if that's what happens. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking right now. Shit could change. All right, let's roll out of here. We're taking the gyrocopter this time. We're going to fly into the desert. I need oil shale, that's why we're going, but I figure while we're there, we'll do some looting. Plus, I want to see if I can get a look at what's beyond Trader Gens. Because this is the way I'm thinking about going if we do survive the Horde Night. Because, you know, if we survive the Horde Night, we're hitting the road and we're going to find a new place to live. And this is the direction I'm thinking about heading. Got some buildings right here. Ooh, that might be a little 
town tucked behind the mountains over there. And Trader Jen's is right there, so it's pretty close. Let's head in that direction. And we got a strip club over there in the middle of nowhere. Can you imagine what the girls look like in that place? If there's ten girls, they probably got eight real teeth between all of them. So kind of a small town, but that's okay. We got this U.S. Army post right below us. So this is where I'm going to take the gyrocopter down. And we'll mine some oil shale back here in the open desert. And then maybe we'll get some sneaky loot in, in this uh, army post. We've done that before in the one that was south of our city. You can just hop over the wall, sneak down into the basement of the building in the back, and you can get right to the main loot without too much trouble. So that sounds like a good plan. We've got a lot of nitrate powder out here, and I know we just mined some, but I can't help myself. Let's at least get what we can off of the surface, and then we'll go uh, get some oil shale. Whoops. I didn't hold that down long enough. Still got her, though. Oh, she looks like Ace Ventura when he takes the spear in the leg. You gotta always make sure you got a way out of here real quick. Oops. A little bit of sand fell on me. Yeah, you don't want to get caught down there. Look at this. When zombies show up. And you got no quick way out of there. Let's take care of this dude. And good night. You know, so every now and again while I'm mining, I usually just make sure I have a quick way up and out of the hole. Oh, we got a few birds flying around overhead. Maybe we should just pack it in. We got a good amount of oil shale. Yeah, let's do that. Fuck it. Come on, junkie. Let's go see if we can grab the main loot out of this place without disturbing too many zombies. Yeah, look at these fucking birds. They're all over the place out here. Hopefully we can get in here real quick without getting attacked by them. I need to make more uh, frames. Let's do like 10 more for now. Alright, we just hop over the wall like right here. And like I said, we can sneak right into this back building and that's where the main loot is. Alright, let's get in here. Oh, let's search that garbage can. Oil, that's nice. Shit, I think I'm waking up zombies. Hope they don't come in behind me. Better close this door. Oh shit, that woke up Mo. He's a walker though. We'll use the spear. That just got him angry. Alright, fuck it. We just want to make our way downstairs. Without trying to wake up anyone else. Oh shit, close that door. Well, we got a radiated right here. A radiated soldier. Oh, this is not going to work out good for us. Uh, here we go. We got to get Junkie down. Oh, shit. Outside. Close that door. Quick. Okay, we can put Junkie down right here. See how this works out for us. Oh, go down, man. Oh, shit. Grab Junkie. Oh, that was a bullshit hit. He hit me as he was falling down. Oh, fuck, we got to reload. Oh, I screwed up there. Dude, it's like... You don't even see blood when you shoot these guys because you're hitting their armor. Shotgun is not the best weapon against them. Oh, damn. I got to find a, a place to put Junkie down. Shit, man, he's on my ass. This is not good. All right, right here. Come on, go down. Oh, shit. Okay, he's dead. Damn, did a good amount of damage to me, though. Let's reload Junkie. I think we got another zombie coming down the stairs. Yep. Just a walker. Let's get in here. Put Junkie right there. Oh, shit. There's a another soldier coming down here, too. This is where a hammer or nail gun would come in handy, so we could use the frame trick, but... It's like we're going in without it. Um, 
I guess we'll just wake another one up, right? These guys are usually walkers. Oh, that guy's not. Oh, shit. Fuck. We're cornered. Get out of here. Well, I guess this is where it ends. Oh, making bad decisions today. Oh, die. Holy shit. Well. Oh. That didn't work out anywhere near <laughs> the way I wanted it to. But we did it. We're in here. We're alive. Let's get Junkie down right there to watch our back. And we got all this main loot goodness in here. Fuck, we have no cloth to make a bandage. We do have first aid bandages, but... You know what we'll do? We'll loot this gun bag. Nice. Now we'll chop it up for the cloth. And we'll make a regular bandage, use that, pop a painkiller, finish looting here, and then probably just get the fuck out of here before we get killed. Ooh, rocket launcher, finally. Shit, and I've been avoiding rocket launcher ammo at the traders. I want maybe I should make a stop back at both traders before they restock, which is on what, day 46, I believe. Right? We saw them on day 43, yeah. So, I don't remember if either of them had rocket launcher ammo. I should go back and look at uh, episode 43 when we were at the traders. And if they both have rocket launcher ammo, maybe I'll go back and visit them and buy that shit before they restock on day 46, because then we can get more of it. But you got to be careful. I didn't know this. I found out about this during my Christmas special episode, because I was using the regular ammo for that thing, which is what we just found. And that does more damage to blocks. You need to get the red ammo, which is like frag ammo, and that does more damage to zombies. So that's what we need for Horde Knight. I mean, you know, worst case scenario, I will use the, the regular ammo and just blow the shit out of everything. You know, I'll go down with the ship. I don't give a fuck. But if I can get the red frag ammo for that thing, that'll be ideal. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. There are zombies beating on something. I don't know what. Let's grab Junkie. Wait, there should be some loot under the stairs here. He has an ammo pile. Get this thing out of our way. Plus, we can use the cobblestone. Some shotgun rounds. Take that. Take that stuff. All right, let's roll. All right, that zombie we've heard beating on something is coming from outside. He's punching on the wall over there. Fuck it, let's check this building. Right here, the garage. I know there are a couple of military trucks in here and uh, some passing gas crates. Let's check these for the gas. There we go. Nothing in that one. There are a couple of zombies in here too. That's fine. We'll deal with them. Wake up. He's dead. Let's get Junkie down. I know there's another one in there. I don't know if we've woken it up or not. Oh, yes we did. Oh, shit. <laughs> Go around the truck. Come on. There we go. That's better. All right. Grab Junkie. Let's check this gas barrel right here. Nothing. Nothing. And we'll put Junkie back here, but facing outward. And let's loot this shit in here real quick. And then we'll get out of here. So, I've been thinking about doing a little series on Scum alongside my 7 Days to Die stuff. The initial video did really well. It got a lot of views, a lot of likes. It did get more dislikes than I usually get, but... You know, that's fine. There are some people that dislike the game, and... You know, not everyone's gonna love it. Um... And the way I was going to do the series is kind of like Ramblin' Man, because that's kind of what the game is right now. It's just an exploration game, especially if you're playing single player. If you're playing multiplayer, it's just a gigantic battle royale game, essentially, just like DayZ and Rust. But if you play single player, which Scum is the only one of those three that offer single player, unless you have your own server or you set up a LAN server or whatever... Um, but yeah, that's what Scum is. It's basically an exploration game. You know, you just explore new places, you loot up, and once you have like all your military style loot, guns and ammo, 
you don't, it's not like you go hunt other players down if you're playing single player, so what else is left to do? Well, I guess just explore the map, you know what I mean? So that's kind of the way I was going to approach that series. Just like a backpacking series, you know, exploring the map, exploring different areas, getting the best loot we can until we get killed. But before I do that, I'm thinking that I might pick up Daisy and Rust, because I've never played either of them, and give them a shot. And then do a one-off video for both of those games and see which one does the best out of Daisy, Rust, and Scum. Uh, not only which one does the best, but which one you guys enjoy the most and which one I enjoy the most. And then pick one of those games and do, you know, a little series alongside my seven days to die stuff. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. But I don't know, I have to put a little bit more thought into it because games like Daisy and Rust are completely different animals than what we've been playing, you know, PvP, multiplayer. It could just end up being a complete and utter mess. If I am going to do that, I'll have to pick up both games and put some time into both of them to, to at least learn a little bit before I jump in a server with a whole bunch of other people. Or I think there is a way to play Rust single player. Oh shit, is that a bird? Yeah, come here, fucker. Oh, and a screamer. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Come on. There we go. Oh shit, we landed on the barbed wire. Give me these frames. Run away. Man, I don't know about the desert. It's pretty fucking unforgiving. Anyway. That is a small little town. I don't know if that's... somewhere I would like to move if we do survive the Day 49 Horde. Even though... it would be interesting. Like, see these mountain peaks right here? Like that one especially? What if we got up there during a Horde night and just stayed up there? What would happen? You know, the, the surface area on top is not big enough to where zombies would spawn up there with us. They would spawn below us. You think they can take out a whole mountain before the Horde Night is over? I don't know, but it would be kind of fun to try. It would either be really boring, us just sitting up there all night, or it could get really interesting if the ground we were standing on just started collapsing. So, I don't know, something to think about, but let's get home, and we'll probably spend the rest of the day just working on home base. Why is my truck levitating? What is this, the fucking Ghostbusters? My motorcycle is too. If I get in it, yeah. Should bring it down to the ground. Get on the ground. You stay. Let's go ahead and just use a first aid kit. I got five of them. That'll get our health up. And let's get a bunch of gasoline moving with all of the oil shale we collected today. And then uh, I'll throw all of this stuff we have in inventory in a storage chest for now. We'll get it organized later. I'll grab the concrete and the steel and we'll start upgrading this place. Let's get down here real quick though before we start upgrading the outside of this place and start putting in a few more support columns down here. The last thing I need to happen is this place to kind of implode because we dug this bunker. You know, but with a few more support columns like this, that should hopefully prevent that from happening. Oh, well, there goes all of our steel. We did two rows, not even half of the building. But if we keep that forge smelting down iron and clay, we should at least be able to get the first two rows of this base upgraded to steel before the Horde Knight. If we can get the first three rows, that'll be great. Otherwise, the rest of it will have to be reinforced concrete. Now, keep in mind, like I said earlier, I'm going to put additional walls inside. This way, if they do break through the steel, they'll just be, you know, reinforced concrete waiting for them. All right, we need more cobblestone, so I'm going to run down here real quick, mine some stone. We got plenty of uh, clay soil. So let me just grab some more stone real quick. This way we can get the workbench working on cobblestone. All right, let's get in here now and get some iron. 
We gotta be careful in here, though. I've really opened it up in an awkward way, so... We gotta try our best to not have it all cave in on us, because that would be another horrible way to end this series. Getting crushed to death in our own mining shaft. Oh, shit. Screamer. Did she spawn anyone in? I don't see or hear any other ones. Alright, guess we got lucky there. Let's get uh, some more iron in here. We need to keep the iron and clay smelting down in here so we can continue crafting steel all week. Get this place upgraded with steel as much as we possibly can. Let's make some more cobblestone. Not that many pieces. I think a thousand will be more than enough. Uh, can we get any more concrete moving? I don't think so. I think we're out of sand. So I could craft some sand behind that concrete. Let's do that. Uh, what? Whoops. There we go. We'll do 500. Oh, another screamer. I guess you can't be running your auger non-stop and both your forges and your chem station without at least one of them showing up. Come on, junkie, finish her off. There you go. Uh, come on, pick up junkie. There we go. I think I see another one back here. Oh, no, that's Big Mama. There's just some zombies that spawned in. Oh, shit, and it's a knight. Let's get in the fucking base. All these zombies are runners now. Get in. Close the door. All right, let's get up on the rooftop. Another screamer. Fuck, man. It's like Horde Knight already. Oh, is that a bird? No, that was a spider monkey. Oh, shit. Die. Oh, he fell into the base. Here comes a radiated zombie. Shit, it really is like Horde Knight. What the fuck is going on here? It's like they know what my plans are. Oh, shit. Another monkey. Oh, chill out, dude. We cannot fall down there. Let's not let that happen. Oh, shit. Oh, we fell into our base. That's that's okay. Where is he at? He must have jumped down. Oh, no, he was down there with me. Come on. Oh, that's such bullshit. All right. We got to focus on these zombies here. Okay, I think that's it. I dropped Junkie over here before. Didn't really do anything. Let's go grab him. Get back inside. We'll try and be quiet now. And turn these forges off. Okay, it, it was probably the auger. It was probably a mixture of everything. Because, like I said, I, got, I had both forges running. The chem station. I was running the auger non-stop, taking the roof off. And, uh, you know, you can't do that without uh, some zombies showing up. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. I have to go through all the stuff we looted today, figure out what we want to sell at the trader, um, organize the rest of the stuff, and see what other upgrades I can do in here during the night. can always go down and mine some more stone or iron, even though, I don't know, I don't want another little horde to show up, but we'll see. If anything crazy happens, I will certainly include it in this video. Otherwise, we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 45. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Apocalypse, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.